G'day viewers and welcome back to the channel. Well, I've had quite a few folks reach out to me since I uploaded my Micro Studio 4K G2 video demonstrating the REST API, but over wireless HTML. As you can see here, I've set up my rig on a tripod and this is how I would set it up at a client shoot. I've mounted my iPad mini via the uh, iFootage Spider Crab magic arm and I've obviously faced that towards the camera so you can see it but that would typically be facing back towards me and here I can control all of the functions I need of the camera from the iPad. You can see that our talent is clearly out of focus so here I can just simply go to the auto focus button and press it and our talent is now in focus. We have an automatic white balance button. So I would just simply place the gray card in front of the talent and I'm gonna hit my auto white balance. That's changed to 4350. Next, I would adjust the iris to make sure that my exposure is correct. In this situation, I wanna keep my ISO at 400. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna adjust the iris. So I set it to one off and iris only, adjust. You'll notice I've got some presets here. The first one is I'm shooting in 4K, I'm using B-RAW at three to one ratio, and I'm shooting at 23.98 frames per second. Let's say I wanted to shoot in 60 frames a second. I can just go into my preset, select preset two, and now I'm shooting at 60 frames a second. I can then go back and select preset one, and I'm back at 23.98. Now, one of the other presets I have on this is preset three, and what that does is it turns off the clean feed. So what that means is that, let's say I wanna check the camera settings on my video assist, I just simply select preset three. I can check that the uh, camera settings are up on my heads up display, and then select preset one, which turns on the clean feed. So when I'm recording on my video assist on the camera, I'm not getting the menu system come through on that. Now, even though this is a manual zoom lens, as I adjust the zoom, the software is telling me the focal length of the lens at that particular setting. You can also see that I can adjust other things such as contrast, hue, saturation. This I typically don't use, but it is there if you need to use it. Now there are situations where you might want to adjust the lift, the gamma, the gain, the offset, uh, and you can certainly do that with this uh, wireless camera control. Now of course, I'm just controlling one camera, but if I were to switch to camera two, three through eight, um, I can be adjusting the settings on all those cameras in my network, all wirelessly. In my last video, I stated that the applications of wireless HTML control are limited only by your imagination at about 500 feet. And that would be true in this situation. However, if I were to make this router part of a wider network and make it accessible to the internet, I could control this camera from a PC, a Mac, an iPad, from essentially anywhere in the world. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and notification buttons. And if you have any questions, please put them in the comment section. Thank you, and you'll see me in the next video.